100% Chelsea, joined by Gorgeous George. Chelsea 2, Brighton 0. Mate, I can see a Christmas present as well. Yeah, man. Just here. Christmas and shirt. Brilliant. The boy, all right. Man, hero, legend, all round great guy. And being good on the bench today. No, he was ill, I think. But it, it's rested him, do you know what I mean? He's played a load of games and he's been fantastic for us. But let's get on to that. Also, Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you had a really good, yes, really exactly. good Christmas. Spent it with family. Had a very Merry Christmas. But yeah, on to the game. We won 2 0. First half, we weren't clinical enough. Moses had two chances. Cesc Fabregas had a chance. Put it straight down the keeper. Uh, Hazard had a few chances. Again, we weren't clinical. And I thought that was going to cost us. The same again at, like we were having at Everton. We had our chances, didn't finish them. But we, Brighton, surprisingly, didn't sit back as much as I thought they would. They actually came out to play football. And I, I enjoyed that because it gave both teams a bit of space and it was a good game of football. Do you know what I mean? Like, fair, fair play to Brighton. They came here, tried to give it their all and we were just too much for them in the second half. We came out and I think Conte showed them the Burnley score at half time and said, let's go out there and get this win. Because we don't know what's going to happen. At, obviously, they drew 2-2. Last minute goal. Surprise, but, surprise at Man United. Yeah, but we're now one point behind them. So maybe Conte said, let's go out there and get these three points. First two minutes, three minutes, Morata pops up with a goal. Assist from Asper de Pleta. You can't, you can't write a better script. Those two just seem to just like get click. A, yeah, click. Like they're fantastic together and they're mates off the field as well. So it helps the team. But second half, we kicked up an extra gear. Massively. I don't think the first half was poor, like other people have been saying. It was a good game of football. Brighton did well, we did well. But we need to be more clinical in the first half. We start slowly, and that's been our problem for years. So, second half, we came out, got the first goal, and built on from that. Alonso's goal, fantastic free kick from him. Yeah, two to, opportunities to build, to build from that. To build from that. He had a fantastic free kick, a fantastic save. Corner came in, he got his goal. Fantastic header as well. I think... Bakayoko and N'Golo are starting to get their partnership together now. I think they're starting to finally click as well. I find that like, Bakayoko is a bit more of the muscle now and N'Golo is the legs and he plays a bit further behind him a little bit. But the only thing that we're missing as well, do you remember when Essien and Lampard and all these midfielders used to shoot from distance? Yeah. We don't have that now. So I want to see Bakayoko and N'Golo. He had a few chances say, to pull the trigger early from the outside of the box and we didn't do it. We need to find we need to find a midfielder who can uh, even out of those two to shoot from distance because we've seen what happened at Arsenal. The keep was the, especially how wet it was today, absolutely pissing it down, and it could have slipped and we could have got a goal from that. Do you know what I mean? So we need to start shooting a bit more from distance for me. Also Hazard, he had a fantastic game. Don't get me wrong. And the same at Everton, he had a fantastic game. But the only thing is he came too deep from I, Everton. I, I, I can say but, after what you said, I watched it and yeah, he did. He came too deep. At that false nine, he needs to be in and around the box. But today, he was he was fantastic today. But the only thing is he needs to pull the trigger. He needs to. He needs to be more selfish. Be selfish. Get your goal. Don't pass it to someone else to score. Take it yourself. He needs more goals for me, Hazard. But he had a fantastic game. I'm not hating on Hazard. No, you're not. We need no. to keep him. Do you know what I mean? We need, we need to be more selfish. He's going to play his second striker role in behind Morata. He needs to be more selfish to take shots himself. And like the N'Golo one, when N'Golo broke away, Hazard had about five, five or ten seconds to have a shot early, but he wanted to beat a player. Shoot first time. Like, come on, don't let the keeper get set. But we got the three points. We're now a point behind United. So we go on. Yeah, do you know what I mean? We're putting the pressure on them now. And they haven't been having great performances. Like, if Man City weren't doing as well as they were this season, this would be a decent season for us. We'd be in and around the tight race. But because City are doing so well, it looks like we're doing poorly, but we're not. We're not. And we've got this N'Golo, uh, Antonio Conte out stuff. Stop that. Stop that right now. Because if you want Antonio Conte out, get out of this club. Go find another team. Because he's... He's been fantastic for us in, in Conte. He, if he could have came on at Everton, he would have done. Yeah. That's how much he loves his passion for to win games. So if you want him out, go find another club. Because that's an absolute joke. This man should be here for the next five years, for me, personally. And Conte is fantastic. And we got the three points today. But yeah, we move on to Stoke on Saturday. And I'm going to be there and I'll see if we get, get the three points there. Let's hope so. And hopefully Murray gets another hat-trick. <laughs>